So are you looking for some more decor ideas that's not quite fall yet and you might be tired of doing the lemons and all of that? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share my mantle decor that I have on my mantle throughout the year that's specifically styled for my theme in each one of my rooms and I can't wait to show you. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And in case you're wondering, I'll be 70 years old in October and I say it because if I can do it at my age, you can do it at any age. And I wanna thank my wonderful subscribers. I appreciate you so much for watching and supporting my channel, it means the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't wanna miss, especially my upcoming videos on fall, Halloween, and Christmas. Don't forget to hit the bell. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna keep you long, but you know I have two mantles. I have the white one in the living room and I have the darker one in my den. My living room, my actual decor, I don't know if you can tell, is kind of a boho desert Moroccan type look. That's the look I have in my living room. It's kind of black and cream and wood tones. Um, but I wanna show you my mantle that I have up most of the year. You know, you see me put chickens and birds and lemons and all kinds of stuff on there. But I wanna show you my ideal, my ideal mantle in both rooms for the decor I have. So that's my living room. My den is a completely different vibe. It's more of a global feel, like well-traveled. It's got animal print and paisleys. And I've got some different uh, statues and I have, you know, the darker orchids and things like that. So without further ado, I want to show you my regular mantles. And it fits in with this month's theme of fantasy vacation, kind of a global exotic. Where would you like to go on your vacation? Well, bring it home and put it on your mantle. Anyway, I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my decor for August. I wanted to show you kind of my, what my true um, decorating style is, which is kind of desert, rustic, bohemian, Moroccan kind of, <laughs> I kind of call, call it a rustic global look. Anyway, this is how my mantle looks when I don't have lemons and birds and chickens and stuff like that on it. So this to me is very neutral, very simple, but yet it reflects my style. So because of my big chunky mirror, I have these two uh, lanterns from uh, Z Gallery that are painted kind of they're kind of brownish, rusty color. And I want to show you inside. I have these little risers with these battery, um, they're timed candles, so they come on every night. But I wanna tell you how important that is. If you have a tall lantern, don't put your candle at the bottom, put it in the middle and it kind of glows throughout the whole thing. Now in the center, I have this very interesting vessel. You can see how it's kind of white, shiny, and then kind of like there's sand on it. It's kind of a very textured vessel. I have these two ceramic shells that to me are very neutral, but they look textured because they have all this um, almost uh, raised areas on them. And you can see on the other side, I have another lantern. These lanterns were the big size from Z Gallery. I've had them for years. And here's why I do my mantle this way. I love a round mirror over the mantle. You know, I have it on both my mantles. And I really like how these two lanterns here really give height, they frame the mirror, they kind of make your eyes stay in this area when you're viewing what I have displayed on the mantle. Um, I think it's really important to have, you know, kind of large pieces to either side, and you'll see I've done that in the other room also. And then I have all these spiky plants coming out of the top. To me, um, it keeps it very simple. It's more spiky and geometric than a bunch of flowy plants like ivy or something like that. So this is my mantle all the time. It kind of reflects my kind of global, rustic, kind of desert type theme. Now let's go take a look at my other mantle in the den. Okay, here we go, you guys. We're in my den now. This is the dark mantle. I just want to show you here. Um, I do have another round mirror over it. I just find because my ceiling, see it's not very high, 
that it really suits the space well. And instead of lanterns, I have my two big um, orchid plants. So this room has more animal prints, some paisley, which I'll show you in a minute. And it's just a richer decor in here. And you've seen, if you watch my flower arranging on how to do these orchids, to do a bamboo pole, do some other greenery, stick in your orchids and tie it up with some raffia. Then add your bottom greenery. And then I have some more draped down on either side. Now I find this my favorite way to decorate this area. The only thing I would add would be maybe some pieces of coral down here. You can see in the middle, I have some books, which is not really books. This is actually a set of books and you can see this little button here. It used to work, it doesn't work anymore that one of the books would come in and out. It was a Halloween um, prop. <laughs> but it fits so perfect on my mantle and holds, I believe this is a statue from Thailand. You guys know I like the global look without traveling. Um, and of course I painted this to go in the room, but, and then with the two hurricanes, with of course battery operated candles, they automatically come on every night. So I wanna show you what I put on my hearth. Now I have to tell you, I struggled for a long time on what to put on my hearth here. And you know what I found works the very best are round objects. So you can see here, I have these old steamer trunk. They're like hat boxes or luggage boxes. And then on this side here, I have an open basket with all my pine cones that my husband and I gathered one day in the snow. And then I have these two battery operated lanterns. These were from Ross, you guys. I think they were $11 or something and I've had them for I don't know, I'm gonna say about 12 years and they still work, they come on every night. So this is my dark mantle. And I just wanna take a minute to show you my side table, how I have it decorated during the summer. Let's take a look. So here we are at my little side table. You know, I keep my little trunk here, old fashioned trunk, kind of alligator skin with some Excelsior in it. And for summertime, I open it up and I put my shells, some coral. You can see I even have a little crab here. And this coral, by the way, um, this is real coral. I just happen to have the shells are all real. This is fake coral. And you guys buy coral. If you see it at Ross really cheap and it's pink, go ahead and buy it. This is the paisley color I was talking about. Uh, I have this with animal prints in this room, my pillows and everything um, out of that fabric. So I wanted coral to be that kind of rich, rusty color that kind of goes with my, um, my French poster that I have here too, which I really love. I love French posters. All right, you guys, I hope you liked it. I hope you got a little inspired. I hope you enjoyed my regular decor. And I put it in this month because to me, it's kind of a global exotic look. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.